fashion, ads, and media. And today, I have a guest all the way from England. Welcome. Please tell us your name and tell us your exciting life. Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Claudia Machat. Um, Claudia Secrets for um, the ones that are follow me on social media. I'm a model, I'm an artist and an upcoming singer. So soon you're going to see me um, around on the TV, possibly. Oh, wow. Sounds great. So when did you start modeling first of all? So not long ago, uh, my decision, I think I was always a model when I was a child. However, I was not really supported by my parents. Um, so then I just left as a second plan in my life. Um, right. During COVID pandemic, um, because um, I'm, I mostly, I'm working full time as a nurse. Uh, I realized the importance of, you know, um, we only have one life and we should uh, give a chance for ourselves. Um, because if we don't do anything for ourselves, nobody's going to do. Absolutely. So I just realized the importance of, you know, centralize on yourself and uh, give a chance for your secret talents. Uh, that's why I came up with Claudia's secret because in fact, nobody knows that I had these talents and I thought that um, was a time for me to, to give a chance to myself um, and to honor as well important people that left in my life, uh, unfortunately, um, but they still there and I believe where they, wherever they are, they are support me. Uh, we there were their strengths and um, yeah nowadays I just feel like I'm blessed I have a lot of good vibes around me and everything is going in the way that it should be so at the moment I really dedicate myself to modeling not long ago I start around uh, December last year right in some shoots um, I'm really thankful to Philip Shan as well one of my mentors uh, really helps me through the, this process. Um, as well, Madeline Chan, uh, who I'm very thankful right now as well. She's a, a singer and also a professional um, teacher. Um, so she's helping me as well with my singing lessons. And now I'm also trying to enroll into acting as well because I believe that um, I'm, I love cameras and Acting has helped me to express my inner self. Right. So we'll first of all go back to modeling and then we'll just discuss about all the other things as we go. So, so when I... Just go on. Um, well, um, as I mentioned, I was started uh, modeling not long ago. Um, was about uh, in December, and, yes. and I'm I'm really thankful to to many people, including Philip Jan and uh, many others. Right. So, tell us, have you been on the runway yet? Yes, uh, my recently uh, release was um, I was my first runway in London was um, in a event. Um, for Sophia, so Sophia is a fashion director. So she she basically create um, a fashion show uh, that was live for New York. So it was my nice. first runaway. Um, and soon I will be part of um, London Pacific Fashion Week, where I will be doing my second runaway. Um, but. I also been training with Plitz Agency, so with a New York agency, so where I did my first training catwalk. So yeah, I'm doing a lot of progress in that um, in that uh, aspect of modeling. Exciting, exciting. So you are based in London. Yes, I'm pretty much based in London. 
Um, to be honest, very central, um, nearby London and I. London is amazing and it's the fashion hub and it's where to begin. You are just on the right path. You're on the right city. Definitely. So, how was your experience uh, on the runway? Did you feel a bit scared? Did you feel excitement? How was it? I feel, I feel excitement. I feel a lot of excitement. And to be honest, when I'm catwalk, I just forget about everything. Right. I I don't have like that, you know, many, many others can feel like I'm shy. I will not be enough. I just feel like, I am, I'm born to be there. Right. That walk. You're a natural then. You didn't, maybe you did. How old are you? I'm 28 years old. You are 28. And where do you come from originally? So I came from Portugal. All right. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Amazing. Okay. So uh, you said you started modeling when you were quite young. So that was in Portugal. Right. Yeah. How is modeling in Portugal as compared to the UK? To be honest, in Portugal, um, I only did some kind of photo shoots. Right. I, I never had an opportunity to run away because that is kind of a concept that models should be tall, should be very thin. Um, and at the time, uh, they were not really uh, accepting me as a, as a model for runaway catwalk. So right. then I, I just had the opportunity here because I start realizing that fashion and modeling as well, they changing uh, the criteria. So to including models so more and than ever, we can see curvy models going on a runaway. And I think it's for fair of everyone because Absolutely. I do believe that it was kind of impacted in many in many aspects because many women were like doing crazy diets and you know I just feel like now we are more into natural aspect of women. So women should Absolutely. we born to be curvy? We born to not be like flat or very skinny. So. And we are different from each other. Every woman has got their own beauty, I believe. So, um, and yeah, what I- Amazing. What you say there is quite right, to be honest. I'll tell you uh, just one quick uh, story. Before, yes, they used to say only very slim and very tall models. And that was not so good because you see that dress on the runway and maybe you go to the shop and see it on a nice, especially online. You see it on a really slim mannequin or a model, for instance. Let's talk model. And then because most people are not slim and tall, you buy that dress, it doesn't look the same. You know, it just looks so different. So by including all, all sorts of models, every type of model, it's just great because then now you can see the dress height looks on somebody who is maybe your height or maybe your, you know, um, maybe curvy or smaller. And then you know how the dress is going to be because especially right now, everybody's shopping online mainly. What do you think about wow. shopping online as compared to shopping uh, in the shop, going to touch the dress and feel it before you buy it? Um, shopping online has got their positiveness, but also negativeness. As I meant, as we mentioned already, the person cannot really try. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of positiveness, it will help, you know, not creating like a kind of uh, overstocking and um, it, it, it kind of uh, avoid overproduction unnecessarily of an item. So it, 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 it helps with more flexibility on the business side because people can, uh, you know, flop and, you know, around and see, okay, this is not going to sell. Let's try another thing. So, um, but 
um, you know, returning a bit of, you know, our, our aspect of, you know, everyone, every woman has got, and every, also men have got an opportunity. What I, I do believe, and I congratulate all the ones that are taking the first step, even if they feel like, oh, I'm maybe I'm not like the kind of slim me body, but I'm actually have the confidence to be a model. I congratulate you all of these people to Absolutely. taking the first step um, to be a model. Honestly, absolutely, absolutely. Nowadays, everybody's included, which is nice. Before all these uh, uh, main shows were taking only slim models and all that, we at Aberdeen Fashion Week were taking all models, all sizes. Not bragging, but we started taking models of any size long before the fashion or modeling industries said it's just the same industry said okay let's use everybody else anyway now going to your um you're an artist right yes mm -hmm. tell us about that so um in terms of artistic point of view um i i i came across with my own signature that is called claudia secrets Nice. And uh, for everyone that doesn't know what means cloudy secret, uh, cloudy secret is is basically, um, it came with um, with a lot of you know, um, a lot of sadness, but also you know bad moments in life, made me realize that uh, I have secrets, I have secrets in myself. And I do believe that that secrets are my talents that I never, I never even realized uh, that I had them with me. Talents, a trace of personality. And as soon as I came to, to challenge myself, when I came to UK by myself, when I, I tried to develop my English by myself as well in this country, uh, getting a job, and now starting into, you know, giving a chance to my talents, right. I just discovered that I'm more than what I was believing. And I do believe like everyone has got these talents, has got these secrets in their selves. Right. So I truly, I truly believe that I still a secret of myself. And as soon as I'm exposing um, into challenge, into life events, I will discover a new self. And I do believe that the, this new self is better than it was before. Right. So that's where I came across with this cloudy secret. Um, I started writing a book about that and it's called Cloudy Secrets From Me to You. And so it's more or less um, a kind of dialogue between a woman and their subconscious mind and right. how powerful right. that subconscious mind can be helpful um, in ourselves find who we are as a person. Right, yeah, well, the paradigm is something else. We can be thinking something to, or saying something, but the conscious, the, the, you know, that mind, the paradigm is like, okay, you can say anything, but I'm going to do what I want. So that's great. But please do tell us what kind of art do you do? So um, I mostly, I mostly, um, what I really love to do is really singing. Since I was a child, right. um, I was a singer. Um, I used to sing with the colors of the wind, as right. as I always mention. So. Um, unfortunately, I stopped to sing as I did sing in Portugal. I did participate in many festivals. I, I win one competition as a best singer. Um, and then I just left everything when I came to UK. Right. So and even when I lost my grandparents, because they were like the power and all the insight that I had to continue to sing. Right. So um, recently, I just come back to that, and 
thankful to uh, one person that is really, really, really important, uh, Madeline Shan. Um, right. If she's listening to us uh, right now, a big hug. Uh, and thank you so much for the opportunity, honestly. Um, and yeah, I just start singing again, have my lessons. And I'm really thankful to this because soon right. something going to happen very soon. So everyone is going to know. I don't want to disclose this uh, because it's still, um, we're still uh, working on it, but it's going to be something big. So, uh, Claudia Secret, is Madeline your agent or is she the one who is training you to sing? Madeline is a singer, but she's also a professor. So she's a teacher, right. um, my teacher at the moment. And she's helped me out, not with the, you know, training me um, to be a singer, but working on my skills already, because it's basically uh, singing with the soul. If a person sings with the soul, he's an artist. And I oh, sing yeah. with my soul. Yes. Yes. I sing with my soul. So we just more or less, you know, gather all the skills that I already have working on it and just bring them up. Right. Now I'm going to ask you, I, you can always say no. Can you sing for us? Viewers, I'm sure you're going to, to love listening. Can you just sing anything so we can hear how you sing, please? Um, yeah, I can, I can, I can sing. Um, there is a music um, that uh, is from Nelly Furtado. Yes. And he said um, like that. I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. Wow. Absolutely great voice. Oh my goodness. I can't wait <laughs> to hear you. Did you say on TV? On Yes, on TV. To see you. Yeah, on TV. maybe soon. It's just like still a secret. So we're still yes, building yes, yes. and working on it. <laughs> We won't be talking about that. Now tell us about your nursing career. What kind of nurse are you? Okay, so um, I graduated in 2014 in general nursing uh, in Portuguese university. Yes. Um, I came to UK like a general, you know, new registered nurse. Mm -hmm. uh, was my first job in England. So I never worked in Portugal as a nurse. So big, big challenge uh, for a person even that never, never had like a proper contact with English culture, English language. I never traveled before because right. my family was very poor in Portugal. So, um, so basically it was a big, big challenge. And um, I did remember my first shift as a nurse. Uh, I was literally in the middle, like with many folders. And then I just dropped one folder and many families came to me and asked me very complex questions and I didn't even know how to answer. My, oh, only, can... my, oh my, my only way to answer was yes, of course. Yes, of course. Trying to be supportive, but here we go. Today I'm a nurse. I also did uh, some, I put some effort um, on my career. So I did my postgrad in critical care. Oh. And I started as well my master in advanced clinical practice, but I haven't mm -hmm. finished. Only thing that was left was my dissertation, but everything right. stopped during COVID pandemic. So, um, yeah, wow. right now I have some projects. Um, me and I, I just create a group between me and all the doctors and we are planning to give a, you know, a chance in aesthetic nursing. So let's see. Amazing. Um, you just said something which I can almost relate. Well, I come from Kenya. We are English speaking country. Um, I'm a teacher by profession before fashion design. And when I came to the UK the first time, also in uh, England, 
because of my accent, going to a school, some people will, even if you know how to speak English, will always have a reason to tell you they don't understand. So if they could tell me that, I wonder how, and it really made me feel so scared and shocked and all that. So I can almost imagine how you felt coming to a country where you can't really speak the, the lingua and then getting, you know, all the questions coming at you. It's something. So well done for learning English and for doing the courses. Oh my goodness. Especially now you have to learn everything in English. Yeah, and um, I pretty much, I, I, I really get the language already. Um, I'm honestly, I've been reading a lot in English and right. watching a lot of a series, documentaries, yes. and it's been very good experience, honestly. And then, you know, speaking with many people, different backgrounds, different yes. countries, and it's just been amazing. Yes, London for sure has people from all over the world. So, yeah, it's amazing. Great. So you will not tell us more about your singing career. Uh, so we'll move on. How did you enjoy doing the photo shoots and which photographers have you worked with so far? Um, well, there is some photographers that are working with me. Um, Vasus, for example, we did a shoot yesterday with Timothy Robinson. Oh, so yes. I'm really thankful for that. Timothy um, is like my son. <laughs> um, I did a lot of photo shoot with Anfisa. Anfisa is a Ukrainian, um, a lovely photographer. photographer. So all nice. the ones that are watching me, please follow Anfisa. Uh, um, she's mostly doing like portrait um, nice. art. So um, I loved to work with her. Uh, one of the shoots that um, I cannot forget was in Tropical Square and nice. it was me with the Leons. It was a very cold day. Um, and I was with a red dress. It was just literally amazing. Nice. Um, and also Christian. So I recently started working with Christian as well. And I'm really been enjoying as you know this experience. Right. Nice. Um, for me, photo shoot is more than a simple uh, shoot. It's telling people a story. Absolutely, I agree. Hundred percent. Yes. It's telling people a story, telling uh, our emotions, express ourselves through uh, some, um, you know, position, movements, mm -hmm. and um, it's art, it's, it's art. That's true. Culture. That's true. Do you know, there is a, a photographer in London called Roman, he's Polish, Roman Hadjak, I think. You should look for that. Uh, photographer his photos this guy is so talented because his photos move everyone and wow. the locations in which he goes to take the photos honestly amazing unbelievable i just look at his photos and i cry you know wow that's the sort of emotion his name is roman hadjak you know you will find him on instagram He's amazing, I can tell you that. And if you want, I can introduce you to him because he's yeah. more like my friend. Take photos oh, with him. Amazing, I'm looking and, forward to bring something oh, yes. uh, special. Oh yes, he's, oh, I just don't have words. I don't. Um, I've done an interview with him. So maybe you can also watch and see what he does because you will cry. Make sure you have, tissues with you so that when you start watching that, you're going to cry, obviously. Anyway, now going back again to modeling. So what, what do you want to do uh, mainly? Do you want to do, uh, f uh, you know, like photo shoots or do you want to be on the runway? What, what um, interests you most? I can say that both. 
honestly, I I really love Runaway um, because it's part of myself, you know, into that Runaway is all the trace of personality that I bring. But I like also photo shooting yeah. because I can express myself to different, you know, positions, different yes. locations. And I think it's also uh, by doing photo shoot, you contact as well with the environment around you. Um, yes. I, I pretty much love, you know, contacting with the nature, with more artistic, you know, architecture. And yeah, that's you impact it to create in the public. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's just literally amazing. Absolutely agree. I agree completely. So tell us, um, you are still studying, but you are doing all this. You are singing, you're modeling. Uh, what else do you have that is going? Um, it's pretty much like, um, I like as well to dedicate myself into working out my body. Yes, I love. I can see that. And, um, <laughs> I actually, behind I have my machine. I worked out mostly nice. every day, nice. um, and into into um, after that, I like also to dedicate myself into acting. So I nice. recently started being an extra as an actress. Right. Um, but uh, more than ever, I want to play a role. And my right. dream role, I was actually having a conversation with one film director right. um, that I want to be the next Angelina Jolie. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Do you know thoughts become uh, things? Words become things. So just keep thinking positive. And anything can happen. But why Angelina Jolie? Because yes, she's really great, but she's not the best. Why her? Why not somebody else? It's because um, I know that she's not the best because I'm not also considered, uh, you know, <laughs> very professional. But I do believe like she's kind of woman with spirit and she's bringing her spirit into acting. And that's what I love. She's right. very feminist, you know, she's very sexy, she's very uh, feminine, and that's what I like, you know, bringing all that uh, into, into acting. Why do I find her too thin? I just think she's too skinny. Uh, no, yeah, but um, it's, I think life sometimes changes. Um, I think she was not really skinny before, and it also depends, you know, um, life events just change sometimes routines and also, you know, our body tends to go with the flow and some people can gain weight, some others can lose weight. I think she was like going into that path of losing weight. Oh, um, yeah, I think so too. I think she really loves being thin. This is what we were saying. People should just be themselves. Maybe she's being thin for the, you know, the um, scenes that she's taking, you know, in acting. So I, I think she's extremely beautiful. And the fact that she's helping kids from around the world, well, they are her children, but she has children from around the world. For me, that tells me that she's a great person. Great. She, now, what I don't like about her is the fact that she wants to take the children from their dad. So that makes me not like her, to be honest. I think she's a great actress. It's just that why take children from their dad? It's not fair. What do you think? Um, well, um, I cannot really speak much about that because um, Everyone has got their own choices, and yes, um, of course. Uh, the fact that uh, she's, you know, at least she's helping a child and she's um, she really is. adopting them, uh, it's like kind of inspirational for all the ones that are not able to deliver exactly. their own child. 
exactly. uh, because some people has got like kind of stigma oh no I'm not gonna adopt because these other persons uh, mm -hmm. and in fact um, you know you can contribute for that happiness on that child and bring their you know a new world and you know happiness she's doing well. that yes and she's great oh my gosh you see those she does not care if it's her own like blood children or you know a child from africa or from cambodia they are all her children she doesn't see a difference but she should let brad pitt have the children sometimes this custody they are having about you know all the children are mine and the must they stay with me i don't agree with let's go I, back to you uh -huh. go on. yeah sometimes what i do believe that social media really hides some essential aspects in um, in in the life true. of a person or a couple mm -hmm. and sometimes i don't really trust much in a social media especially magazine or like kind of um conversation i do believe like we should really, um, essentially, it's important, you know, we, we give like, okay, that's a very good thing, just supporting what they are doing, and don't really give much attention to what social media says, because sometimes social media can be very, um, I always said, uh, persuading in terms of, you know, which kind of information they want to deliver. Yeah, fake news. Um, so. <laughs> fake news, but when the newspapers start writing, well, there is fake news everywhere. Anyway, she's good. I like her. I like her. I, I liked, I've liked all her films, to be honest, but uh, was it Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Oh my gosh, that was awesome. I just love it. I love it. I love it. Now, have you ever acted or you just want to start acting? Yeah, I, I never. I did some theater lessons in Portugal, but I never did acting here. Nice. Um, apart, you know, doing some broadcasting or, you know, introducing myself. So, yeah. Uh, I'm really looking forward um, you right. know, to be on the screen and I hope everyone is going to enjoy. Of course <laughs> we will. <laughs> I'm sure the viewers are saying the same too, you know. Um, so really, you have not even been an extra in the films. Uh, yes, I did. Actually, recently, last week, I was um, playing an act in a waitress in a movie. Uh, right. so yeah, I did, I cannot say that I haven't been an expert at all. Right. Um, and I have huge projects coming, um, in which I potentially will play a main right. role. Oh, wow. Look yeah. at that. Oh, well, I just can't wait. Are these, uh, UK films or, uh, American films? Um, for now is UK. Right. Uh, you play movies, um, but we never know in the future. So I will tell you something. You look beautiful, which is great. Uh, we oh, we always you, like to see. Well, every scene, every you know, everyone can be in a film depending on what their you know their character is going to be. But we like to see beautiful faces. And so we're going to love seeing you on the films. Now tell us, oh, many you know, I know maybe you are not supposed to say, but I got to ask. So this film, you are an extra as an actress. Which film is that? Is it out yet? No. No, no. We, they, we are just in the beginning of the movie. Um, yeah, it's an, mostly an action, criminal, um, you know, a lot of gangs. A lot of uh, guns as well. Yeah, Ooh. violence. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now, please tell us which actors are in the film too. That you can tell us. Um, which actors you mean? Yes. Uh, Adam Fields is one of the actors. Um, right. They are not really much... Um, you know, uh, known in the social right. media, but I believe they will. Yes, of course. 
Um, Jamie's is another one that play a main role. Um, yeah. yeah, so all under Lisa Kate production. So Lisa Kate, yeah. a big hug for all your hard work. Oh, that's so nice. You are lovely, you know that. You keep giving people hugs. Come here, give me a hug too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you mm. for the hug. So if I could, I will hug all the world because of uh, the opportunities that are coming into my into my life as well. That's um, really nice. You know, with the universe, when you keep wanting to do good things, good things happen to you. So your door is open already because you are inviting. When you invite good things, the universe sees and says, hey, she's doing good things. She likes good things. Let her, let her, us give her more. So you're going to get more and more. You're going to be famous. And I'll be so proud. And I'll be saying, yes, I interviewed her one time. So oh, I'm, happy. <laughs> I'm happy to be in that process of, you know, you are going leading to your stardom, you know? So now you have acting, you have been uh, a model who is a runway model and also of actually quite different, you know, type of model online. You Now then, now tell me, please, have you ever, ever wanted to join uh, the pageant world? Because you look beautiful. Obviously, you're very intelligent. The fact that you can come to a country that you don't understand the language and actually become a nurse and do masters. Oh my gosh, this is just awesome. Now tell us. Have you ever wanted to be like in a pageant or something like that? Um, I've been invited for many pageants already. Right. My thinking maybe can be strange for all the ones that possibly are watching is for me, be part of a pageant is, it should be something natural, not something that we should do rehearsals for we should be training how we're going to speak, how we're yes. going to walk, how even we're going to dress. We should be authentic, genuine, and bring our natural self, natural beauty without makeup. So people can see that everyone can do the same. And when I see many pageants asking for fees, of course, it's important we support them as much as right. we can. But I do believe in genuine work. And right. I do believe that we should not pay to be in a certain position, to be in a pageant, to right. be a finalist. Um, because if I see a potential on a person that has no money at all, she also can deserve their position or the, their seat in a pageant world. Right. So for me, it's about equality um, and also opportunities, a free opportunity for every single person to be part Absolutely. and share their voice, their spirit, their motivation and their personality. Oh, wow. Amazing. Now, tell me anything else that you haven't told us today. So um, for the one that doesn't know, I just been awarded and thank you for Desiree Richardson, the creator of this amazing platform, uh, Awareness Leader 2020 for right. Face of Woha. Uh, is a Face of Women of Heart Awards. Yes. 
Yes. And um, it's basically a platform. Uh, we have also a Facebook page. We have also a website where every single woman can share their stories, um, wherever they are, they're from, uh, whatever they are, and gather everyone, uh, every single soul, share uh, in a network, uh, right. events, or even in Zooms, uh, in our platform, so we can empower other women uh, that cannot raise their voice, that cannot really Absolutely. speak up and get them empowered and get mm -hmm. all the motivation to be their right. self and their best version. Agreed completely. Congratulations on being face of Woha, isn't it? Isn't that how it's called? Yes, yeah. I know about it. And I think that it's a really great incentive. So congratulations, girl. You've done that. I actually have my word there. It was is is beautiful. Do you want to show us? Oh yes, I wanna I wanna grab it. Just a moment. Yes, yes, please. Viewers, we are waiting for that. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. I love the yellow. It's just amazing, beautiful. So congratulations again. So mm -hmm. that was in 2020. Yes. And oh this God. year, I'm a finalist uh, to become a face of Fuha 2021. Oh, wow. I hope you win again. Um, I believe that there is many others uh, that has a great potential. So I congratulate every woman that are participating and they also finalist for, for the year. You got uh, already um, the opportunity and also mm. I do believe that you have a very big chance of win as me. So congratulations nice. for all. Absolutely. Now tell me, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Oh, nice. I love pink. I love, especially baby pink. Oh, very nice. Right. Um, what is your favorite or your best designer? Especially, it can be high end or just a normal fashion designer, but who do you like most? I don't say I worked with some fashion designers and I don't believe, I don't have like a specific uh, favorite. Right. I, I like the how they express their, their art into clothing. Yes. And I like to help them to bring their emotions when I cut wool or when I yes. do. Um, a photo shoot, for example. So at the moment, I don't have like a specific fashion designer. Right. And uh, I really want to support every single Absolutely. one, especially if they're watching. I really yes. want to support you um, <laughs> in your art, in your creativeness, and bring your talents up as well. You have to be on the safe side. And I love your answer because if you said you like one, another one is going to think, mm. Especially, you know, when you go on the runway, the designers get to pick the models. So to be neutral is good. So everybody is going to be picking you for their runway. Awesome. So anyway, now, do you have any last words that you might want to tell the viewers today because they would like to hear uh, any advice you have for them? Uh, for in artists, you, everything. Um, Just to tell us, you have your time. Tell us everything you think we might want to know. Um, I just, I just want to, you know, create a little message for all the film directors, all the artists, um, cinematographers, and and magazine directors that um, I'm Claudia Machat. I'm looking forward to work with you. 
in the next opportunity. Um, be on your screen, be on your magazine, um, speak even on the next interview, who knows? And I'm happy to share my talents. I'm happy to share myself and support you in whatever aspect of your life you need to. On behalf of all the fashion designers and event organizers, I welcome you to come and uh, be on the runway for Aberdeen Fashion Week when it oh, uh, comes. We'll be thankful. It will be a very nice opportunity. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you for accepting. So now tell us how we can reach you on social media. Oh, um, yes. Uh, on my Instagram, I'm Claudia Secret 28. Um, nice. On my Facebook, Claudia Mashad. And um, yes, for now, I just, I don't have a proper website. In the future, I may will look for it. Nice. Um, I just create a simple um, bio um, that is pretty much accessible from my um, Facebook nice. and Instagram and also my portfolio. Right. And um, yeah, and my mobile. Right, so we, we don't want that. People might disturb you. There's lots of people who watch this. You don't want people calling you at midnight asking you a question. No. <laughs> Viewers, don't do that. Well, are you on Star Now? Because Star Now is where all the, you know, the actors register so that they can be, you know, if there's any parts coming. So are you on Star Now as well? And uh, not yet, not yet. Please register as soon as possible. Yes, I will do, I will do, definitely. Right. So we are going to wind up here, but I don't want you to go because you are amazing, but our time has come to an end. But if you have any, just two minutes for you to tell us any other nice thing before we go. Um, honestly, um, I just want to say, um, in terms of, uh, I want to just say a, a message of inspiration, uh, for every woman, every man, um, that is been under very hard circumstances in their lives, especially the ones that have been impacted by COVID pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, a big hug, you are not alone. Um, oh, mental nice. health is, is something that is really been impacting everyone, but uh, everyone is, is together on this. And um, I'm here if you want to reach me out to have a conversation. Um, oh, I'm a woman, nice. I'm a human, and oh, that's I will nice. take you on board uh, anytime oh. you can speak. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Great. You are a woman. You are a human. You are here to talk to anyone who is struggling. Oh, that is, that touched my heart, to be honest. That's great. Thank you. The universe is listening. You are going to go places. You're going to get everything because you have a clean heart. That is it Thank right you. there. You know, and I'm so happy that you are Timothy. Timothy's uh, friend, because he is my son, essentially, you know, my son from, you know, but he's my son. I take him as my son, even if he's not my, you know, like blood son, blood yeah. related son, but I still take him to be my son. So thank you for being uh, Tim's uh, friend. Okay. So thank you for today. And I hope My to have pleasure. you back, especially after the film and after the music, you've been on TV, come back and tell us how it went. Oh, yes, definitely. Right. Okay. Bye for now. And uh, see you another time. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the opportunity. And for all of you, have a rest of good Sunday. Thank you so much. So bye viewers, please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you so much.